About a year ago, this 25-year-old Syrian woman came to Germany on a student visa. The situation in Damascus had simply become too difficult. I was in Damascus. There was still no war in central Damascus. It's still okay. But every so often, bombs dropped onto the streets. You could be walking down the street and bombs would fall next to you. It happened to me several times. I even tried working for a year in Syria. It was very stressful and dangerous. It's impossible to make a living there. That's why I thought it would be better to go somewhere else. Germany seemed like the best place for me, as it was easier to get a visa here than for other countries. She still fears for her family members in Syria. The fighting is getting ever closer to her hometown near Homs. She talks to her parents on the phone almost every day. <laughs> A lot of my friends have already brought their parents here. I don't have a steady job, I only work part-time. And in order to get a visa, you need either a lot of money or a guarantee. Her youngest sister lives in Damascus and has been trying for months to leave the country legally, until now without success. Now her sister wants to join the exodus of refugees. She's in Damascus, and she works there. She tried to get a visa for Germany, but was turned down. She has the same papers as I do, admission, German classes, and a savings account. But still, she received a rejection letter that said it was doubtful that she just wanted to come here to study. I want my sister here. But I tell her that it's her decision and that it's dangerous. People sleep on the streets, in the woods. It's really dangerous. You could also die in the sea. But if I were her, I would do it. She says that she would join her sister on the refugee route to Germany if she decides to embark on the perilous journey. I sometimes think, if only she could get to Greece, then I would go to Greece too and join her there, just so she's not on her own. I'm here legally, I've got what I need, I can stay here, but yes, I think I'd do that. Her parents, however, will remain in Syria and her older sister lives in Norway. As with so many other refugees, it's uncertain if and when she'll ever see her family again.